Yeah. Here you are, gangster rapper, SNL, and you're rocking the Tommy Hilfiger rugby shirt. So how did that come to be? Because that was a huge cultural moment for their brand, for a lot of different things came together around that particular performance. Well, Andy Hilfiger was a friend of mine at the time, and um, he had took me up to Tommy Hilfiger. Back then, rappers used to go to clothing companies and get a bunch of free shit. And when I wore it, it became the top selling shirt for their company, and it so it took them into hip hop into another language. I was just happy to get some free clothes and, and to be on TV or whatnot. But after I seen that position, I went back when I wasn't high. <laughs> <laughs> and I talked to Andy Hilfiger, and he helped me create my own clothing line, which was Snoop Dogg Clothing. And I was able to jump into the clothing industry and try to get me some money from a owner perspective as opposed from a, somebody wearing your clothes and you give me some free clothes and you make a bunch of money off me now. Gonna be the other way around. Very Andy's true. a, can I say this? He's a good nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy is white, by the way. Yeah. I mean, he's right. All the things are true here. Everything is true. All the hip hop would agree. Yeah. Just so you, everyone knows, Tommy was the suit guy, and Andy was the music hustler culture yes. guy. Yes. And together, um, you know, when the suits first started, not a lot of people were rocking them, but then Andy came in there and ensured that people in the community and the culture and hip hop were able to wear the clothes and make them fresh, and it really launched the whole Tommy Hilfiger craze. So that yeah, was see, but he was, smart. he was smart enough to know that at that time, hip hop was moving ahead of the culture, what people were doing, what we were doing, they was wearing what we was wearing, they was saying what we were saying. So he was smart enough to see that, let me take hip hop and incorporate it into the clothing game because it's fashionable and kids will do what they see them doing and that's what happened. Tommy Hilfiger was a white-based company that became hip-hop-based to where it has no color lines now and that's what it's supposed to be about, no color lines. People are people no matter what color they are. Oh, okay.